Hey, uh, Kai, you want a blast from the past? <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Ah, uh, remember that shit? Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what, Apple Quest clip? <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you even remember. So serious. It was a beautiful day in Ponyville. There was hardly a cloud in the bright blue sky, and the weather was absolutely perfect. Traffic was light, as the morning rush hour had long been over, and the lunch rush had not yet begun. A red trolley glided swiftly along the track, heading out of the main business district and into the suburbs. Ponyville has suburbs? Uh -huh. I, I guess. Maybe. I've been watching. I, I've been watching new seasons. <laughs> As it traveled, it passed a great big tree, and it had many windows and of various sizes built into it. <laughs> At the very heart of the tree was a large red door with an image of a candle painted on the exterior. A sign just to the left of the door, imprinted with a image of a book vaguely suggesting the building's purpose it's a library <laughs> yeah. it's a library all right more specifically it's twilight's library inside it's the library there was a spacious circular room shelves carved out of the walls were crammed with books and so were the small tables scattered around the room Chairs and cushions had been placed conveniently for the pleasure of house guests who visited frequently. On one end of the room, a winding staircase climbed out of sight to the living quarters where some pony was playing a cheer cheery and upbeat tune on a piano. On the other end, a small alcove served as a mudroom and foyer where guests could wipe their hooves and remove their shoes. A small closet offered plenty of space to hang raincoats and umbrellas. Hmm? They wear shoes? What? Is a Apparently. Pony? Never heard of tap dancing ponies? Mm -hmm. Get they on my level. Tap, they don't need tap dancing shoes. Their hooves are able to tap very well. They go tippity tippity tap. Well, <laughs> where have the sensitive hooves? <laughs> At that point, you should just kill yourself. At that point, you couldn't even walk if you... Shut up! This is one? magic, not science! <laughs> okay, can someone else take over the other paragraphs? I okay. Wait, can I do it? wait. Where are we? I don't know where we are. Suddenly, right. the, open, the door opened. <laughs> Suddenly, the door opened. A yellow <laughs> Pegasus mare with a pink mane entered with a smile and raised her hoof in a greeting. It's a beautiful day in this neighbor. Oh my God, neighborhood. Uh a beautiful oh. day for a neighbor. She it's a beautiful sung. day for the neighborhood. She sung as she trotted over to the closet door and opened it. Would would you be mine? Could you be mine? She continued the Pegasus as she leafed through the menagerie of sweaters hanging on the bar. It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood and neighborly day for a beauty would you be mine she asked uh, and she took a red sweater out of the closet could you be mine she, oh my god she did close the door of the closet and began taking the coat off the rack i have always wanted to have a neighbor she sung putting a hoof up to the top of her head and making a light tug. Just, she furled her brow, but tried to remain cheerful. Like she said, giving another light tug, but still not getting the desired effect. You, she groaned as what the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want someone else to continue? She groaned as she gave a heavier tug 
in a flash, her hood <clears throat> fell down to the ground with a loud zipping sound. In the yellow mare's place stood a smiling purple alicorn standing on a crumpled yellow stack. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood, sung a purple pony as she levitated the jacket off its hanger and thrust her four hooves and head into it. With you, she sung, kicking the yellow stack a sack over, uh, oh, uh, blah, kicking the yellow sack Good job. off to the side. So let's make the most of this beautiful day, she sung as she zipped up the jacket. Then she walked over to the wooden bench and sat down. Since we're together, we might as well say, she sung as she slipped the golden slippers off of her hooves. Would you be mine, she asked as she put the tennis shoe into one of her hind legs. Could you be mine? She asked. Technically, time. What? Telekinetically. Telekinetically. That's that's not that's stupid. That's not English. I know, but yeah, that's, that's why I was conf- that's how I'm confused. <laughs> Telekinetically <laughs> trying to, to trying the laces of the shoes, tying the laces of the shoes. Won't you be my neighbor? Finish, finish try, tying the shoes. She took a matching tennis shoe and put it on her other hind leg. Won't you please? Won't oh, you please? God. She said, trying, try, tying it. Please, won't you be my neighbor? Once finished tying her shoe, second shoe, she sat up. Neighbor and friend, she said, smiling into space. Then. She then placed a bent forehoof on the back rest of the bench, and her and four. Good job, Louie. That's four fuck, times. The fuck in her lap. By this time, <laughs> the piano music had stopped. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> that's when we are television neighbors and television friends. <laughs> then she. <laughs> brought her floor to her lap up and collapsed it with the forehoof on the backrest. <laughs> okay, finally my server is showing some life. Wow! I was thinking about something, she said, leaning back. Do you want to know what it is, what a restaurant is? After a long pause, she continued her thought. It's a, it's a place where people go and buy their breakfasts, or lunches, or dinners. Have you ever been to a restaurant? Another pause. Well, there's one in this neighborhood that I really like. The ponies there make very good food, and it's a friendly place. Pinkie Pie sometimes works there. I'd like to you to see it. So let's go to our neighborhood restaurant together. All right. The purple unicorn got out of the bench and began trotting towards the door. Suddenly, a white filly with a pink and purple mane thrust the door open from the other side. Yo, what up, sweetie? (laughs) (laughs) Asked Asked the purple unicorn. Yo, I seen this kid over here, right? Over there, around the corner over there, said the filly, <laughs> identifying as uh, the filly identified as Sweetie, uh, gesturing behind herself. And I, is that I or Slash? It's an I. It's an I. Okay. And I know he ain't down with your team. The purple alicorn's eyes narrowed. Who? Oh. Sheep. <laughs> Fuck. Good job, Louis. That's seven. <laughs> okay. How did? <laughs> I don't know. Said, said, sweetie. <laughs> Some skinny, big-headed bitch. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Word. Asked the. 
That's the pur purple unicorn. Come wow, on. Wow, she did catchphrases. And she gestured for Sweetie to follow. The alicorn began walking towards the door, then stopped, stared off into space and smiled. Come along. She said, she said a calm voice to a non-pony in particular just before heading out of the door. Two niggas in... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> that escalated wow, yeah, quickly. Was that escalated so fast. Red and strapped stars thrills. <laughs> Fucking hell. What, what happened here? <laughs> I don't know. The end word, out of the blue. Yep. A voice in Twilight's head said, Fuck all these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take off from here. That, okay, that I'll do it. Freaking escalated so damn fast. Oh. What the hell just happened? And then Twilight <laughs> thought, I should rob all these niggas. My man homies, they want to do whatever I want to do. Let's say I want to eat. They say, shit, we want to eat too. Twilight and her homies rode around the catalytic until they found a red and black Centaur Stunton on Front Street. He had a dark orange backpack on his back and headphones on his head. Twilight stopped the car and put the sh shines on, making Centaur freeze up like his lunch meat. Then she rolled down the car's windows. What do you think you're doing here? She asked the centaur, shooting him a glad look. You talking to me? He asked in a deadpan. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Twilight said. Open your bag. Riley Freeman and Sweetie Belle got out of the car doors, facing the sidewalk. They got on either side of the centaur and began pushing him. Around back and forth while the 50 cent. Why is 50 cent here? 50 cent, 50 cent from where? Who's 50 cent? That one guy that's a rapper. Oh. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> and Twilight watched from the car. This continued about for a half an hour until the box of thin mints fell out of the centaur's <laughs> backpack. Of course, it has to be thin mints. <sighs> Everybody gasped except for Twilight. She tried to face. I'm googling that. <laughs> okay, go Google it. Twice you came to the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. She said, pulling out an Uzi. Oh, God. Wow, <laughs> going gangster. Get the fuck out. The centaur was scared shitless. He started running. He ran as fast as he made from Twilight and her gang. But the try to face <laughs> was too fast, even though she gave. Him a head start. Twilight gang soon got up to the centaur and the Kaladic. It Even worse, Twilight had a full clip and she got biz. She stuck her head out of the window and yelled, I'll kill you, bitch. <laughs> then all four of the niggas pulled out their rose cows and they were like, how the frick do you say that? Oh my god, that's a meme. Huh? Uh. Blog, block, ow, block, ow. Whoa. I, 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 I don't. Block, ow. And the Sintowns block are like, ow. ooh, you shot okay. me. And try like, yeah, take that, faggots. And they proceeded to loot his body and rob his house. Uh. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, I was kind of expecting another clop fic. But it turned out into some kind of mafia drama or something. Thanks for watching! <laughs>